222 today, we will be talking about XDC and the XDC network once again with some very huge announcements. Uh, this will particularly impact uh, the XDC network, Impel, and R3 Corda, but it also involves Trade Finex and SBI. So th that is all things I talk about a whole lot. And just to remind everyone, um, R3 C C Corda uh, connects XDC and XRP by way of SBI, and there is publicly available code out there that can enable the uh, implementation of XRP in the R3 Corda settler as well. And as another reminder, um, Impel is the ISO 222 uh, compliant br br bridge for XDC and the R3 Corda applications. So ever since this announcement came out, our price of XDC has uh, picked up uh, just about 13.5%. Not as high as it did in July, where we went from uh, about three cents up to a peak of about nine. But um, we are ho ho holding in this uh, five to six cent range, which is much higher than it has been for a very long time. So our announcement was actually that uh, the SBI and XDC network is officially formed with a new joint venture. And here is the actual announcement. So SBI Holdings announces the establishment of SBI XDC network APAC company in collaboration with Trade Finex Tech. Um, there is uh, a concentration um, on the uh, Asian Pacific countries with trade finance, but this uh, new venture will help form localization of XDC network related information in Japan to support crypto asset exchanges who want to handle XDC tokens and expansion of partnerships with subnet and L2s. Um, it aims to uh, become an information hub that widely provides the innovative solutions of the XDC network, such as expanding the trade finance options provided by the XDC network to the Asian Pacific region. And it is huge for XDC because it essentially confirms that the R3 Corda Settler will be operating on X. DC, and I will explain this more here in a minute. Um, here is a uh, piece of the actual article from SBI online, but um, it also highlights again that it is in collaboration with Trade Finex Tech out of the UAE, and um, just as a hint, I guess. Um, Ripple has a very heavy involvement in the UAE as well. So Trade Finex is a platform that um, is essentially tying together a lot of different trade finance um, related companies and uh, and runs those kinds of operations uh, on and through the R3 Corda platform, um, which uh, connects back into XDC, which we can see more here. Uh, the ties in to the DTCC are huge as well, which I have explained in the past. Um, and uh, let's see, where did I leave off? Okay, here we go. So, uh, um, SBI XDC network APAC has immediately began operating at, at SBI offices. That was on uh, December 29th. So the work will be completed t t today, the third day of operation, but, but beginning in t t t 
2024, we will concentrate on providing information and POC with R3 Corda. So here is a t tweet from uh, Lyft Capital, who uh, puts out a lot of good information on uh, on XDC. He seems to uh, concentrate on uh, on XDC a lot, j j j j just like I do, um, and there aren't a lot of us out there. Uh, so he is making some more connections in between SBI, um, establishing joint ventures with Ripple, XRP, R3, Corda, and the XDC network, and includes some announcements. So here is one about XDC and Corda in 2021. You have um, SBI and R Ripple. I'm not sure when that was from. Um, you have another one here, uh, SBI R3 Japan, which um, is shown here, which ties R3 back into XDC and XRP. And um, you also have this new one here from uh, December 27th of 2023. So um, here is a tweet from Cypress de Manincore. I still can't figure out how to pronounced that one right um not anything that i really haven't talked about yet except some more uh d details on the actual agreement itself um and uh it seems like impel was the s s sleeping giant all uh all uh, 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 all along uh, if you don't f follow West Beefield LA, I would highly uh, suggest to as well because he puts out a lot of good XTC information too. But here is more on the Impel part. And I have explained uh, Impel a c c couple of times in the past, but it is another um, one to uh, c concentrate more on now because it seems to be um, at the center of it all uh, because Impel is uh, providing the ISO 222 uh, compliant br br bridge in between XDC and R3. And as we know, um, the ISO 222 protocol is uh, now becoming um, uh, required and it is uh, becoming adopted as well. So that essentially means that uh, more and more f f f financial institutions will get involved with R3 Corda and XDC. So um, here's from C C C Crypto Airy. I can't uh, do the uh, the exact um, accent on her 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 name. I apologize about that, but she hi hi highlights the br bridge provided by Impel here as well, uh, and says that it, 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 it expands XDC network technology, um, f focused on trade finance as well as cross border payments, um, which, uh, which XDC is involved in a number of, uh, CBDC projects with the BIS. So that is a very good point to make as well. So, um, here is one uh, that is highlighting the uh, importance of, um, of Impel. And uh, here's a, a little bit more on it uh, before I actually explain what it is again. So um, we have SBI and Trade Finex in the APAC re region with the XDC network, and it will include uh, the Corda platform and Impel, uh, mainstream adoption for XDC. Now, why is Impel so important? It is a uh, fintech c c c company 
that uses blockchain technology to provide financial messaging uh, on uh, or in compliance with ISO 222 with optional collateral for instant settlement and a bridge to the R3 Corda platform to uh, to future facing banks and financial uh, technology companies. So um, that works off of an ISO 222 API and uh, it um, runs with the R3 Corda bridge as well. So if you learn more here, um, the R3 Corda is a first of its kind connection that enables XDC to, to move to and from the public Corda network. With this bridge, XDC can be implemented as a settlement vehicle inside of the, the Corda platform, allowing value to move freely between the Corda public network and chain uh, networks like the XDC network, which means that information can be recorded privately on the Corda network while uh, certain information is transferred to the XDC public network, which uh, reduces institutional risk and turns Corda into a hybrid network. By extension, this, uh, sh this hi 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 hybrid design will connect the XDC coin with every other core dApp on the public Corda network. Um, so uh, that is a really big deal. And I wonder what happens if I hit this access, the Corda bridge here, because I haven't actually done that. Oh, okay. So uh, you would uh, connect your XDC wallet and then you would have access uh, into uh, D d d different R3 Corda products and applications. So here is a uh, reminder of how large of a um, uh, value opportunity this actually is. So um, the uh, ICC uh, 10 tr 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 trillion in trade annually, and there are 45 million businesses involved. Um, um, XDC won't, won't be handling just, just, uh, money, debt, and data, but it will be tokenizing all of the, uh, all of the different, uh, d d documents in the trade finance pr pr process, which I have talked about multiple times, uh, with tr tr trade tech and a couple uh, of other examples as well. And I do have a, a new example of that that I will put out soon. And uh, just as a reminder, the ICC is the International Chamber of Commerce. So, um, and to uh, remind everyone about the size of the trade finance industry itself, um, the co-founder of XDC and Zinfin says that the tokenization potential alone of the trade finance industry uh, can be worth around 30 trillion. But that is um, just uh, concentrating on uh, to tokenizing the uh, trade documents themselves, which uh, involves the... Uh, UN model law on electronic transferable records as well, which is uh, being adopted more and more now. Um, and as we move into 2024 and 2025, uh, the adoption of that will pick up and uh, we should have much more um, value coming into uh, the XDC ecosystem overall. So, 
uh, how does all of this impact the actual price of XDC? So I showed up here at the start that our old peak was about 19 cents, 18 cents, and we're at about 5.5 cents right now. Uh, our current market cap is just uh, two, b b b b no, wait. Uh, the fully diluted cap is uh, two billion right now, and our current is just 756 million, which is not much at all. So, if XDC achieves only 30% of XDC of XRP's current market cap in the peak bull run of 2017 and 18. XDC would be at four dollars and twenty five cents. So, with all of the news and the announcements and the expansion of the XDC network and uh, all of the people that it's involved in, and uh, particularly around uh, the R three Corda platform, this uh, four twenty five per token uh, does not seem as if it's a long way away.